Uh, Jim Howard here in Fort Worth, Texas. Today's date, it is uh, February 5th of 2018. This is a review of this uh, stainless steel tactical flashlight. It's uh, really neat. When, you know, when I pulled the box out that had this, this stuff in it, this little tiny box, I'm going like, my God, that it, you know, it's heavy. You just knew you had a quality product. I've owned a number of these tactical flashlights. And this is uh, more reasonably priced than some of them. Some of them are uh, really pretty expensive. This is at a uh, very low price for, for what you're getting. You know, it's stainless steel. You can tell that it's quality. It, uh, I think it has five flashing modes, or five modes. That's uh, full bright. I think that's less, and that's less. This is the flashing, strobing. This is the SOS. I kind of like this because uh, it's a little slower. You can definitely make you know out that it'd be dot, 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 flash, or dash, 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 dot, dot, dot. Some of them flash, you know. Not that I think you're going to be needing to, I don't know, unless you were on the, you know, the, uh, in a boat or something like, something like that, around some place where people might even, you know, might know Morse code, or at least know SOS, but, uh, tactical, it, this, uh, Zooms too. Let me let me switch cameras here. Let me see if I can swing this around. Now there's full, you know, there's full brightness, and by sliding this, you can uh, zoom this out. That's pretty neat. So that's full brightness. This is uh, the next level. Oops, okay, we're already in. This is a strobing. Now, this light is, very, you know, very bright. Oops. Oh, I was going into SOS, I think. Hang on. Nope, strobing. Okay, next one. Here we go. Anyway, this light is extremely bright. So, you know, it could be, uh, this could be used as, not just being used as a flashlight uh, to find your way around, to find your keys, to get into your door, or, you know, whatever. But because the light is so bright, uh, if you're out someplace and you shine that in somebody's eyes, you may have a, a few seconds of it, a little advantage over them. And then also, you know, this is stainless steel. And uh, if you had to hit somebody with this, it, it's going to uh, going to hurt. Uh, let me switch again here. This, okay, what? You unscrew the the back here. This comes with this little sleeve that goes in there. This is a what is it? Uh, one eight six five zero battery. This happens to be two thousand two hundred milliamps. Three point seven. You can purchase these uh, on Amazon. It goes in like that. Then you put the top back on now now it comes like I said with that battery it also comes with this and you put in three triple a batteries they do not come you drop it in put the cap on and that works now the three I'm not sure if you used rechargeable or not if well anyway 
that comes you can put three rechargeable or you can put three batteries in there triple a this comes with let me put this back in by the way it comes with a user's guide here I actually haven't looked at it yet you don't really need it but comes with a user's guide uh, comes with a rechargeable so you plug that into USB and okay this thing slides in and out so the recharging port is right there and then you just put that in then you plug it into a uh, rechargeable you know your computer laptop or a uh, plug that goes into the whatever you happen to have I have things all over the place here that uh, you can plug it into so it comes with you know comes with that and the battery here nope let's go here that this battery that comes with it now that's you know rechargeable and you can recharge it with your you know plugging into USB what I don't know and I haven't I guess read the instructions yet if you put triple A rechargeable and left that in there whether you would be able to charge those up in the uh, and I haven't looked it up maybe we'll see it here in a second on the screen so shake proof waterproof I thought for a second it said snake proof I guess I should have said yeah there's the on and off you know switch and change modes uh, they call it an attack head don't they Gives you the information. All the information here is, you know. So let's see if I missed anything. Five light modes, three brightness levels, tactical security with disruptor, strobe, and SOS function. I think that's it. I uh, I love the lights like this. I have used flashlights my entire. Well, I worked as a welder for ten years, and I didn't. But when I then we had a tropical fish shop, and, and well, worked for the post office. Or, but in 1972, when I started working security. I carrying a flashlight with me all the time. I started out uh, you know, aluminum, but it was a D cell uh, flashlight, and it was you know, and I carried that. Started having shoulder pain. I went to uh, which was it worked out better a a one that had C cells in it. Then over the years, then there was. Uh, uh, large flashlights that had nickel cadmium batteries and uh, they were a pain the uh, batteries were not really you know well reliable they had a uh, habit of uh, a memory and when you keep charging it up when you were working like a 8 hour or 12 hour shift or something when you would put these back on the charger then before long instead of having your uh, full power battery the it would get to oh okay well it only charge up to the eight hour limit or the 12 hour limit or something and two that was before led lights bulbs and with that especially if it was on if you were to hit it against something or uh, drop it and the 
bulbs were very expensive. Uh, and it, that would be, there would be your bulb. You'd have to buy a new bulb that went in there. And then, then later on, I ended up, uh, well, usually I would have one in the vehicle or I would have patrol vehicle or one in the, you know, office. But then I always had uh, one on my belt with me. And uh, I think about that point when the LED bulbs, you know, came out. Must have been before, a little bit before that. But uh, LED bulbs came out. And now these are really great uh, flashlights. And I highly recommend that you have one or more than one, you know, one in your glove compartment of your car, one maybe in a, your uh, toolbox in the trunk of your vehicle where you keep, you know, one at home. And uh, when I go out at night, uh, a lot of times, you know, I'm carrying my cell phone and carrying one of these in my cargo pants, a uh, little pocket there or whatever for use in case I need it for some reason uh, or if in case I, you know, really need it. So I do recommend it to you. Uh, thank you very much.